how does it feel to, to oversee your first derby in Sydney, a uh, victory here, just after uh, having your contract extended for another two seasons? Yeah, really happy. Um, personally, obviously, um, you know, came in four or five weeks ago, worked extremely hard around the place and thankfully it hasn't gone un unnoticed and worked hard with the playing group, building relationships and rapports with the staff and, and everybody involved. But I'm really, in particular, happy for the fans. You know, it's been a tough time for them. I understand just how important this fixture is, um, particularly at home as well. And, you know, they, they were, you know, cheering and singing nonstop all all night, you know, they're very important to us, important to the players, and, and most happy for them. Absolutely. It takes time, and it's still going to take time to, to build because habits and behaviours take a bit of time. But, you know, improving standards around the place uh, doesn't just go for the playing group, but everybody who works extremely hard in the office, the coaching staff too, and... You know, I won't ask anyone to do something that I'm not prepared to do myself. So, you know, you get rewarded for that hard work and that endeavour um, and that belief, which is was hard. It wasn't there at the start, but it's moments like tonight and, and games like tonight where we need to build on it as well. There's no point, you know, playing tonight the way we did. I thought we were totally in control with and without the ball in particular um, because there has been a tendency to be inconsistent. And I don't like that. Consistency is very important, so that's that's something that we're going to be well, one of the themes this week, preparing for next week's game. Is it all surreal? I know the derby wasn't around to our venue captain signature, but you were the first captain signature. Gordon Sweeney led him to a title. Um, he was stuck in the Hall of Fame as well, uh, but we saw what it meant to you after both goals and, and the passion that you had sitting on the other side of, of the bench. Yep. Is that surreal at all for you? Not really. No, I'm, I'm in the moment. I like to stay in the moment. I think that's something I've, I've worked hard on, is not thinking too m much about um, the past or even the future, is, is being in the moment. And it's one of the hardest things to do, actually. I'm a pretty passionate guy. I always have been. Anyone that knows me, you know, whether I was a footballer or, or as a coach, you know, I, I'll, I'll give everything of myself. And I think that passion sort of translates into into the playing group and, and the way we, wa you know, we want to play the game and, and things like that. But um, my job is solely for this football club and and the players and the, and the supporters in particular and and you know what you saw is what you got for my football team and my football club you know irrespective of the opposition i've got a lot of friends um over at at sydney fc you know stevie corica i shared all those great times with as well um you know scott barlow and and, and i had a good rapport with their fans too but i'm sure they would, would have understood um that i'm coaching my football club i would have been the same um if i was coaching their football club you know, that's just the way I am. Did you ever get told in all the work that you had to do, and the studio and all those kind of things, funds are going to come up? Yeah. Yeah. It feels like it's just a, a bit of a stepping stone. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, I think that's why tonight was important, and uh, we want to build on this, and that's why I said uh, consistency is important. We want them coming back and, and filling this stadium. You know, that's that's the bigger picture, and, you know, let them be proud of 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 you know what they what they see on on a weekly basis and and I'm big on my football team representing this football club in the right manner because the, the fans are hard working and they want to see a bit of fight and grit and determination in their team. You're not always going to win every game, but you, those are the non-negotiables as far as I'm concerned. And, and I saw that in spades tonight. Well, since you took charge of the club a month or so ago, we've seen a lot of uh, a lot of dribbles and constructive discipline. What we saw tonight. Where's that out of, of what, you're, what you would be satisfied with and, and what you were uh, uh, striving to get to? Pretty satisfied. I'm never 100% satisfied, unfortunately. I, I mean, most coaches would, <laughs> would, would tell you that because I would love to have four or five and it could have been like that tonight. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, if you look at the amount of shots that we had and the ones, you know, I think it was eight to one on target. Forget the shots. I mean, we, we, we could have really planted the opposition tonight and probably should have. Um, I thought the game plan was fantastic. Like I said, it's great having a whole week to, to prepare because I haven't had that. You know, when I first came in one day before the first game, and it's just been game on game. It's really hard to to build on 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 a, you know and prepare for a strategy and a plan. And we have seen improvements. You're right, structurally and you know going forward and defensively and uh, as well. So. It was great that we've been in the receiving end of, of you know free kicks in the past, but we were kept another clean sheet, which is pleasing. We scored one ourselves from a, from a free kick finally, you know, and that's always important too. But there's always room to improve. Uh, 
be a little nice restore I forget the download of it and maybe even fill it with little copper a few uh, water bottles from the away bags how do you, how do you, what would your sort of take on that and, and how would the players act to that I don't want to comment on that it's it's um, it's not for me to comment on um, the players didn't mention it at all they won't because when you win you know you, you, you're not you're never injured you know and, and things like that Every, everybody wants to train tomorrow and be there. I've, you know given I reward them with a day off though it's the first one I've given them so I think they'll they'll um, enjoy that uh, as well but they're a great bunch of boys you know love love working with them and the staff and everybody involved in the club you know and you know I've heard, heard I've heard words like you know it, it's toxic there I haven't seen that and I've been around I've been around to many clubs as a player and as a coach and that, I do not see that at all at all and so that disappoints me because I don't see that um, it, I've got fantastic people who come to work to try and be the best they can whether it be in the office or or the players or, or, or the coaching group you know and, and I think you know we, we just need to keep improving and keep building and, and keep our standards high and not drop off that's really important. Bruce, um, what impact do you think it may have had getting the job permanently during the week and, and signing that long-term deal in terms of tonight's preparation for the players and for you? Uh, for, for me, it, it um, I guess it's just a bit more clarity and I can actually plan for, for next season and, and the season after that going forward. I think that was really important as well. You didn't want to leave it too late. and But... For, for everybody at the football club, I think it's important. And it's a good question. I'm not too sure if, if it made a difference for tonight. You know, perhaps those who are coming out of contract may have think, you know, thought to themselves, right, I need to step up another gear, which I hope that's not the case because that was my intention from day one. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think so. I think we planned really well for this week. Like I said, having six days to, to prepare and, and not playing that game on the weekend made a big difference for us. And I don't think it did. You know, it was only announced yesterday as well, and I, um, I was kept that pretty quiet too. So it's not like anybody knew until it got announced. And yeah, you said before that you're you're always emotional, but having watched you for a while, you, there did seem to be an extra bit of animation from you on the sidelines tonight. Is that fair? And that did, did that stem from getting the permanent deal and then a and then a derby game? Oh, I think more the latter than the former. It had nothing to do with me personally. It had more to do with the derby. Yeah, passionate person I am, and I knew what this what this, what this game meant to to our football club and our fans in particular. So, yeah, you're going to see me turn up a notch when I have to, and and turn it down a notch when I have to. I think that's always important as a coach as well. Is is um, is make, making sure that you made the right decisions and 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 the way you say things. Um, you got to keep them up, and then sometimes keep them down. You know, and and I think that's important too, and picking the right moments. And I thought tonight was the right moment to be that's like that. Right, well done. <laughs>